So hello and welcome to uh, Camilla and I. I'm Mark Cooper and this should be the first episode of Camilla and I in 2022. So what have we got in store for you? And that's what I thought we'd go through this evening, what we've got in store for the new year. If you watched last week's, um, showed the highlights of 2021 and uh, oh boy, what a year we had despite being mainly at home um, shows the value of accessible wildlife photography close to you with Camilla and I. So uh, yeah, watch the end of this video and then uh, yeah, watch the highlights of 2021. So if we can match that, we will have done very well. Yeah, so we've just escaped all the uh, Christmas festivities and uh, it was getting a bit lethargic to say the least. So uh, yeah, I managed to escape for a couple of hours and I thought we'd nip up to uh, Salisbury Plain, Camilla and I, and uh, record this for the new year. And uh, yeah, what a beautiful spot, Salisbury Plain. We're hoping the barn owl's going to come out later on, although you never know. But it has rained pretty well on and off for the last ooh, 24, 36 hours. So there's a very good possibility that the barn owl will be forced out this evening to hunt. So. Uh, yeah, results at the end. If not, I'll chuck in a few more from the previous shots at this location. Awesome. So I've got a few starlings going overhead, but we're hoping for an owl year on Camilla and I, and indeed on friend uh, JP Lamoureux has promised me all four of the uh, British Isles owls, all in one sitting. So uh, yeah, we hope to be going over there for uh, a couple of days and uh, photographing all four of the owls in 2022. So uh, yeah, 2022, two plus two, four British owls. Should be brilliant. No pressure, JP. Let's hope he delivers. Ooh. Well, still no sign of the owl here yet. So uh, yeah, so what else are we getting up to in 2022? Well, the other thing I thought I'd do was a sort of basic program um, we'll go through the settings that I set on Camilla and I for wildlife, but individually, like we'll go through shutter speed in depth, and then we'll do the compensation dial in depth. And um, yeah, just explore some um, basic features uh, along the manual settings so that you can get a better idea, a better feel for what we do technically. So we're going to do some just short little five minute technical briefings on uh, what Camilla and I do to get the shots. Because it's not all about having the best camera in the world, which does seem to be the uh, best camera in the world. It is how you use it as well. Honest. Yeah, first of all, on Camilla and I, we're off to Norfolk. And, uh, ooh. What a marvellous location. Try and get there at least once a year. And uh, we're off to uh, Titchwell Marsh, RSPB Titchwell Marsh in particular. Particular favourite with Camilla and I. Oh, absolutely awesome. Raptors abound. And uh, also some of the wading birds. Golden plover last year. Saw a flock of that, didn't get close, but um, a whole flock of about 400 golden plover last year. And indeed, the flocks of birds, RSPB Snettisham, just down the road. Again, absolutely wonderful sight. So we hope to get a couple of videos from Norfolk very soon. Okay. Yes, and while we're on the subject of blue sky holidays, oh, I mean hard work in Norfolk, get it right. Um, no, my uh, wife and I will be going to Scotland for two weeks. So uh, yeah, Camilla will be coming too. My son will be looking after the family home and uh, business. So uh, ooh, hopefully we've got something to come back to. But um, no, we should be enjoying two weeks in Scotland. I won't tell you where, that'll ruin the fun. <laughs> okay, anyway, yeah, so two weeks in Scotland, around May. So uh, yeah, it won't just be local stuff next year. Kind of get a nosebleed we're north of Watford. Ooh, Scotland. Ooh. 
local and accessible wildlife on Camilla and I. Well, I just got a beautiful little male stone chat in our sights at the moment. Absolutely superb. Yeah, they are a beautiful bird. Available most of the times of the year around now. But uh, yeah, this one, it's looking from tracking. Yeah, it's just gone down again. Lovely little bird. Got a female earlier as well. Oh, now I've got hair running across the uh, top plane here as well. God, it's all going to mad now. Ooh, just need the barn owl to come out now. Ooh, awesome. Uh, just going into that golden light. Last half an hour of the day. Absolutely superb. Uh, got a bit closer to the stone chat. A few starlings flew over. They were quite nice. Still waiting for the barn owl. God, be absolutely gorgeous if it comes out tonight. But uh, yeah, keep everything crossed. Ooh. Well, it's about five minutes till uh, sunset here, up on Salisbury Plain. And uh, no sign of the barn owl yet. So, uh, yeah, looks like it's coming out after dark today. So, uh, yeah, not so good. But it is awfully wet, so, uh, yeah, it's hardly surprising. It's probably still drying out from last night. So I did get a reasonable shot of a buzzard as it took off just on the way up here. So, uh, yeah, linked to a reasonable shot of a buzzard in flight just took off as I got the camera out the window of the car awesome so it's normally about now when the uh, barn owl shows up on Salisbury Plain but you can never tell yeah so hopefully that's given you an idea of what to expect coming up on uh, Camilla and I in 2022 so uh, yeah we've got some good things coming so don't forget to uh, subscribe, hit that uh, bell notification for future videos um, because uh, we're definitely getting up to quite a lot in 2022. We're not living in fear. We're getting out there and getting the shots. OK, so uh, yeah, if you want to follow Camilla and I's adventures, get hitting that bell and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Cheers for now. Bye.